Hey, IFBB Pro, Johnny O. Jackson here, and you're now watching The Hardcore Truth with Johnny O. Jackson. Welcome in, everybody. As you can see, I'm sporting a new look, old but new look. You know, only thing hair does is grow back, so if you're disappointed with this look, don't worry about it. The beard will be back in no time. Anyway, you got to excuse me this week. I'm a little bit under the weather. I've been fighting off a cold the last couple days, um, so my motivation factor isn't you know, at a good level right now, but we show up and we do our job anyway. And this is a segue into my subject this week, which is motivation. You know, I had a guy walk over to, um, walk over to me at destination, uh, last week while we're shooting a gas video and talked to Nick Del Toro. And, um, he called me over and asked, you know, Johnny, I've been watching you and mind you, why do people always got to share, you know, the time frame? Like, you know, I was 10, 11 years old, and mind you, this is a 30-year-old man now. You know, I've been watching you forever. You know, you, Branch Warren, working out, particularly you, you know, and I see you come up here and work work out you know, on Thursdays at Destination, and, you know, it's motivating, and you're hitting it hard and heavy, and it's been a long time. How do you get motivated to come in and do this? And so there's no real particular right or wrong answer to it you know um there's never a, a one particular thing that motivates me there's so many different motivation factors in life itself so uh, my you know i i like to tell you guys that you should at least write them down you know right when they're present in your mind write down you know those motivation factors um because there's plenty out there and sometimes we forget we sometimes we lose our way and what best way to figure it all out is what you wrote down yourself for yourself. Um, so something in that will motivate you to get going, to get the work done, you know, to get to wherever you're trying to get to or do whatever you're trying to do. You know, in the beginning, I remember, you know, in the military, um, I was about to get out. Um, I, I, you know, wanted to figure out what I was going to do next. You know, um, what was what God had for Johnny, you know, in this, this next phase of life. Um, and I definitely really wanted to get out of the military, but I wasn't so against staying in as well. I just had to figure out, you know, what it was that I wanted to do. So right then and there, around that same time frame, um, I wanted to, you know, start back to competing again. Um, this is 1997. I want to start competing again. I had competed earlier you know, when I was 15, 16 with my brother, I hadn't done it in for a long time. And, you know, I, I always train, you know, I never stopped training, but, you know, I gave up on the competing thing, but because I had a little extra time and was winding down in the military, you know, I started working out a little bit more and start seeing posters hanging up. And so I start catching a bug again of, you know, remember what me and my brother done together and, uh, thought hell you know i had fun i thought it was awesome and then mind you around that same time frame i lost my brother as well so uh for me it was like something we can do together as well so that was a big motivation factor um it was losing my brother and he wanted to be become a pro also um never achieved it did get on a national level but never was never ever able to turn pro um so it was like something, you know, we were doing together and I can achieve for for us. Um, so huge motivation factor. Um, and then, like I said, you know, it was time, you know, me, my time was winding down in the military. So I had to figure out what am I going to do? And at that same time, Powerhouse Gym there in Colleen, Texas, advertised, you know, it was a new gym opening. They wanted, you know, trainers and, you know, they had a program that trained that people could come in and, um, get into this personal train trainer program um, and learn under the gym um, uh, to become a personal trainer and train for the gym, uh, be a personal trainer for the gym. So I thought that was a great idea because like I said, I figured out I wanted to try to turn pro um, and I had to, to train somewhere. So powerhouse gym, new gym, perfect. Um, I needed a job so I can pay for it all. So becoming a personal trainer, um, and I can schedule my times with my people and my training and my food, my meal times. So it, it was a perfect combination. 
at the time. So all that together um, was such a big motivating factor for me is I'm finding my way. This is what I can do afterwards. I'm doing this with my brother um, to accomplish what, you know, he set out to accomplish for himself. You know, we can do it together. Um, so here I go. And four years later, you know, with that, that motivation, those motivation factors alone there, um, took me through, um, me pretty much turning pro in 2001. It took me four years, um, after I, you know, put my mind to it that I wanted to turn pro to turn pro at the 2001 nationals winning light heavyweight and overall. Um, so a great day that day. Um, and so then after you turn pro, you got the card, you know, accomplish that big accomplishment that I wanted to for myself and my brother. And then it's like, okay, I remember, you know, that Monday sitting on a couch in the living room going, okay, where do I go from here? So like I said, it's so important to write down, you know, different motivation factors because we can lose our way. Even though I had accomplished exactly what I set out to accomplish, I can't tell you the low I was feeling sitting on a couch on Monday a after getting my pro card, not knowing what what is next, you know? So all that motivation I poured into turning pro, it was like, okay, what do you do? How do you grab the motivation factor to do something now that you are a pro? Okay, so um, I honestly, you know, wasn't well connected um, within the NPC, within the athletes or anything like that, you know. Um, so I really didn't know what to do, honestly. Um, after a few days, um, I got some mail in, and you know, some mail into the house that, you know, had some, you know, um, where I fill out to get your pro card. Um, also had shows uh, when they was and, you know, all that kind of stuff. So um, and ex explain a little bit and stuff like this. Um, and then I also seen the MPC um, office number and called, got smart enough to call there and ask for information as well. How do I sign up and, you know, for a show and everything like this. So uh, once I found out everything to do, because not knowing is a demotivating factor, not knowing where you're going, not knowing what you do next, you know, feeling alone out there like, I have no help, you know, it's crazy. Um, I can't can't even explain to, like how it felt, you know, because I was riding on such a high those last three days going into the nationals and then winning my pro card and then, you know, just big adrenaline dump into that Monday of, you know, just depression of what do I do? I have no idea. Anyway, once I got all this information together, um, got back into the gym um, cause it took me a few days, for, you know, to get rid of the swelling and the uncomfortableness. Cause that's when I was still young and thought, you know, after a show, you just, your eyes are bigger than your stomach and you're grabbing everything and eating everything in sight. And you, you just gained a gross amount of weight and, uh, just so uncomfortable. Anyway, um, after that subsided, I was able to get back in the gym, you know, and start training again. Um, it's, you know, once the blood start flowing again. You know, you start getting also excited again, um, seeing the pumps and, you know, seeing the different, the size wise is tremendous because of, you know, I would diet it down to 198 and, you know, a week later eating like a fool, you know, I'm up around 240. So, you know, that's motivating itself, seeing that size difference. Even after the swelling comes down, you retain a little bit of it. And once you get in the gym and work out and get a pump, you know, it, it looks really good. Um, so that was, that was motivating factor of, um, you know, I'm still looking good. Um, I can, I can do this, you know, here we go. Um, then mind you that two weeks after that branch Warren and Jay Moore showed up at a uh, Strauss fitness where I train people. Um, and I saw him training and, uh, they're going off and I was like, wow, there's that guy. And, you know, I, I told the story before um, how he came over, asked me what I was doing the next day. And, you know, do, do, did I want to hook up? And I said, yeah. And, you know, and we started training every day after that. And that was a huge motivating factor because, like I said, I was teetering a little bit. 
start get, gathering up a little bit of momentum, getting back into the gym, working out, seeing a little bit of size change and stuff like this. But it wasn't really enough to really, you know, I don't know. Maybe it was. But the fact that I met Brand soon after that, that motivating factor was huge. And um, that, you know, springboard me into the next several shows um, that I've that I've done. So when I entered my pro debut, it was the GNC Show of Strength. Um, that was the very first one when Gunther Shurkamp actually beat Ronnie Coleman. And uh, that was a history-making moment in itself because that was the first time a, the reigning Mr. Olympia ever got beat by another person on a different stage other than the Mr. Olympia stage. Um, so that was kind of weird to be a part of that history-making moment. But anyway, I ended up uh, 10th. Uh, in that in that show, I ended up making uh, ten thousand dollars actually for tenth place. So that was really awesome. Made my first paycheck. Um, you're talking about motivation out the yin yang. Yes, that helps. You know. Plus, um, Kirk Stroud, he was always my coach when I do powerlifting. But friend indeed, um, he was there along with his family. Sam, um, also you know, big Josh, little Josh. All the guys they brought in, they actually brought me um, a Bible and they all signed it and, uh, you know, and had my name engraved in it and all that kind of stuff. And good luck. It was so awesome. Um, and I can't tell you that motivated me to the nines to uh, get back in the gym once I got back home and uh, to get it on again. And so. As you can see, guys, you know, there's so many different motivation factors um, that you come across each and every day um, from moment to moment, you know, it's up to you to, like I said, you know, jot them down um, just to remind yourself in the later in the future of uh, what you've done stuff for, what motivates you to do what you were doing at a certain time in your life, you know, and that may, you know, pep you up right there um, and, may, and make you move and go forward. Now I can tell you, um, you know, I had a great career, um, won several shows as well as, uh, Arnold classic South Africa. Um, that was one of the, my biggest goals in life was if I was going to become Mr. Olympia, um, win one of the Arnold classics and thank God I was able to, uh, achieve that goal. Um, but moving forward over to now, I'm not competing anymore. What is the motiv motivating factor now? Well, the motivating factor now is exactly what you see is, you know, companies like Generation Iron generous enough to give us a platform to come in and speak about, you know, our history, to speak about, you know, our future, to speak about what we're doing in the present, to help motivate people, to let you know that it's not over unless you deem that is over for yourself. So, you know, never think that, any particular thing or any phase of your life, once that phase is over and done with, your life is over and done with, it's just up to you to find what you want to go, where you want to go and what you want to do next. And that's what I'm doing now. You know, I'm still doing uh, videos, um, workout videos, and that's what I do. And that's what I'm motivated to do. I can't see myself doing anything else. So with that, all max, you know, seeing the passion, that I have in that and they brought me on board and it's one of the greatest teams I've ever been with. I have to say muscle tech will always be my number one just because we had such a bad crew of pros. Um, how could you, how could it not? But team wise, um, you know, this last Arnold, uh, classic 2022 really showed me, um, all these guys character and how we work together and everything just went smooth. And I normally, you know, go to bed really early and don't really go step out. And they went to dinner at like 8.30 at night. So usually I'm hitting second gear, you know, and snoring. Um, but I thought so much of these guys and had so much fun with these guys. I, I could not not go out and break bread with them. Um, so my team that I work with is a big motivation factor for me uh, to stay in the game. They let me know and they voice their opinions about what I'm doing, my videos. And so it helps me to become better in doing that. 
um as well as like i said generation iron is giving us giving me this platform to give all this information to you guys and hopefully motivate you guys into definitely knowing it's not over as well as gas um like the clothing company that i've been with since 2007 i mean incredible company um you've seen the iron world tours um that they go on i mean they reach out to everyone that's associated with gas or want to be associated with gas um and you know bring them in let you know where they're going to be get together uh have a great workout and if there's a chance that everybody meet up together afterwards and break bread we do that as well if there's a chance for us to meet up later on that evening you know and sit down smoke a couple cigars have a drink you know whatnot or just have some good conversations in a uh, good company um that's what we do so those are motivating factors also so there's many motivating factors guys you just got to go out and make them yourself and like i said jot them down so you don't forget them i'm johnny o jackson this is the hardcore truth hope you guys enjoyed it i always enjoy seeing your comments seeing how many people came in, how many people shared. I really appreciate it. Let's keep this ball rolling. Yep, Johnny's out.